A quick tip to survive guillotine chokes. Hey guys, I'm Coach Tom, it's my student Chris. We're having a look today about how to survive guillotine chokes. Now, I haven't been tapped by a guillotine in a long time, and the reason is I just, and I, and I have a long neck, you know, I'm pretty vulnerable to guillotines. The reason I haven't been tapped is because I know a little hacks of how to beat the guillotine. And one of the easiest ones we can do is simply turning our chin into the ribs. Okay, so we're going to have a look at a way to do this with our bodies and then independently with our neck. Okay, so we'll have a look at both ways and we're gonna get the same defense, defensive grip both ways. Okay, so first we're gonna be here and my partner has me here in a closed guard. Okay, so I'm held in this closed guard and I've just made a mistake, I've had bad posture, he's a good guillotine guy, so he locks up a guillotine. Okay, so here I am. So first things first, I must get my hands in position. So my hands are gonna look like this. The hand where the, on my head side, I grab his wrist, okay? And the other hand, I swim over his shoulder. Now make sure you don't try to wrap around like this. See how he's blocking me with his forearm? We need to reach back and over so he can't get you in the Marcelo team variation. And now I'm going to try to pass his guard. But guys, I don't expect you to have to do all this. I'm just telling you what you should do. So as he goes to sit back, I try to hop over like this, and now I'm here in the Von Flu choke position and I can get attacked, okay? However, because I know you're not likely going to do all of those steps, let me just give you a hack so at least you can survive. You're not gonna be able to pass his guard and choke him to a tap like I just did, but if you do those things, you will. So before we move on to our little hack, let's have a look at what you would ideally do from a front choke. So he comes up and he guillotines me. I grab his hand and I bring my hand over and now I more or less do a headstand as I cartwheel my legs to the opposite side of my head. So I'm going to jump up and I come over, I grab my hands together, right hand come down and I put all of my body weight through that right shoulder for an easy tap called the Von Flue Choke. So now he has me in a guillotine again, but I forgot all that stuff or I couldn't do it, right? So I'm here and I've gone, oh crap, I was meant to do a whole bunch of stuff and I've forgotten. And he puts me into the guard, okay? And I'm here and I'm about to tap. So what could I do if I was caught late? I couldn't do all that fancy fun stuff. Simple. I'm going to pile my weight forward and I'm gonna turn my chin into his ribs. Okay, this means that one, a lot of people are gonna let go because they're gonna feel all of their strength go through their chin into their ribs and they're gonna to wanna to let go. But for the people who don't care about that, they're only gonna be choking one carotid artery. Yes, it may hurt your neck a little bit, but in a competition or a hard roll, a little bit of a sore neck probably just means your neck isn't conditioned and you're willing to a cop that small amount of abuse to escape the choke. So if we're back here and he puts me in a guillotine again, okay? So he puts me in a guillotine and he's locked it all up. Oh crap, I'm in such big trouble here. So I'm going to pile my weight forward and turn my chin into his rib. So he starts choking me, I pile my weight forward and I turn the chin into the rib. So he can crank hard now, he can really crank. But see how I can still talk? That's because my chin is turned. If I don't turn my chin and he cranks now, there's obviously no talking because he cuts off my trachea. So at best, we'll hop to the side and we can finish with a Von Flue choke. But guys, easy hack, turn your chin into their ribs, okay? So when he grabs me and I go, oh, what am I meant to be doing? He starts applying, pile your weight forward and turn your chin into the rib. And then when he goes to apply, nothing, okay? Remember guys, this is an air choke, not a blood choke. So if we change the angle, he chokes one of our carotid arteries, doesn't do anything. Little hack, okay? So make sure your neck is nice and conditioned for this, but I haven't tapped in a guillotine in years, and uh, I'm sure there are a lot of people who could guillotine me to a tap, but the people that I uh, train and roll with every year, I haven't been guillotined, and that's simply because I'm good at escaping them. And the number one thing I do to escape is I turn my chin into their ribs. I don't think it's too hard. Give it a try, tap less to guillotines, and have some fun. See you guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you loved it. For more videos, click here. And if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, 
click here. I'm Coach Tom, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.